All right, uh, welcome to 2017. I hope you had a good new year. And this video is going to be about some more VR. And you may have noticed that I've been posting a few VR videos already. So I'm just going to continue with that for a while. Uh, so this video, uh, I'm going to be showing off a few things. Uh, and then I'm going to probably switch to some tutorials, I believe. I am a little bit under pressure and don't have too much time on my hand, so I try to prioritize everything. Uh, but anyway, um, so let's take a look at what we have in this video here. If I hit play here, I want to show some stuff that I can only show in the mirror window. So you can see I have the headset mirror here. It doesn't show up the stereo layers uh, on the, the VR locomotion, uh, this um, game preview from uh, Epic Games. So I'm just going to put that to the side here. And that mirror window, in case you didn't know, it's uh, found under the VR, Steam VR here, display mirror. So it's very handy if you want to show uh, what uh, the actual, um, what has actually been showing, shown on the, um, in the headset. Right. So, okay. So you might notice that I don't have any feet or any body at the moment, and that's because I did some uh, locomotion testing why I didn't want to have feet or a body so it's a kind of a fresh project and then again I did a lot of stuff with it so anyway Oops. hello my controls are working there we go Okay, so the first thing uh, I worked on is a locomotion um, setup and it's working by swinging the hand so I press the grip buttons and it works the way that it's going to translate the direction my hand is put, uh, uh, pointing uh, and it's going to move me in that direction. Um, if the problem normally with a forward vector is that it's going to point forward, but then as soon as I'm going to point my hand backward, it's not going to point forward anymore, and that would kind of send me back and forth. Uh, but actually, I found a way to do that, as you can see here. Oh, but do great. Okay, and the thing is, you can actually swing your arms like this, and then pretend that you're shooting and running away from somebody, and then you can still move that way. Uh, you can also uh, move with both your hands, so this can give you a faster movement. And that feels a little bit jarring to me so, uh, because I am very prone to this motion sickness or simulation sickness as it's called. So I have a button here on my left um, shoulder button, I just pressed and when I activate that, whenever I move, you can now see that the field is getting smaller whenever I move. And this is using uh, the stereo layers. So I have this material applied on top, which reads my speed. And you can also see that if I move slowly, it's not that visible. But if I turn my head still moving, it's going to do that. If I don't, if I don't move at all, it's not going to do anything because this is not going to feel weird to me. But it, as soon as I have a little bit of movement and I start turning my head, this is going to affect the field of view limiter. As far as I know, I could tell from the, um, the articles that I read about it, it's uh, the way kind of it should work. I'm not really sure, but it does help quite a lot. Um, so this is the arm swing locomotion setup I did. And besides that, I also combined this with a climbing locomotion. So. Here we can grab a stone and pull it up. I can't grab this part here and that's just going to make me fall. Uh, so I can pull myself up and also support uh, grabbing with both hands. The problem with grabbing with both hands, so if I have only one hand on, on the hold, it's going to translate my movement like this uh, and with the other one. But if I have both one and pull in opposite directions, let's say, that's going to cause a problem. So I have this trace, as you can see here, so to make sure that I don't get too far off. 
as, uh, as long as I, as I move my hands together or within reach of each other, I can still do things like oh, grab something. I think I landed on something. Um, but it's pretty good fun. And we can get up here and walk forward to this one. jump. Oh, fuck. Great. Oh. Oh, yeah. All right, so let's jump off this cliff. We can actually continue further up, but I'm just going to jump off. Whee! And as you might know, I, um, I am prone to this uh, simulation sickness and this field of view. Lemon really helps quite a lot with this. Um, so the last thing I want to show is I can also try to combine, and this is uh, all, all of this is an experiment. Um, but I tried to combine this with uh, this swing motion with uh, uh, a gesture of, of jumping. So let's say I am running and I want to jump here and do something like this. It doesn't always work, but it does give me a little bit of a jump, oh, kind of a big jump right now. So I'm just going to turn off the field um, the limiter because I can't really see what I'm doing. And the direction we can talk about, it's not really optimal. So, <clears throat> right, so the goal with this project was really to see if I could combine both the, the arm swing locomotion, uh, a jumping gesture mechanic and also the climbing uh, locomotion in all um, one uh, setup uh, without too much um, well using different buttons also so uh, I think that worked out pretty fine and actually uh, the pickup of things work just the same way so if you pull the trigger on a uh, one of the boxes uh, it still works the same way so um, I'm eventually gonna see if I can backtrack most of this stuff here and explain how I did it um, uh, minus all the rocks because that was just because I wanted to have some fun with it and um, right so that was actually what I had for this video I hope you enjoyed and uh, let me know if you have any questions and if there's anything in particular you want to hear how I did um, I'll see if I can bring those items up first uh, but for now uh, thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you soon bye bye